bodies, whether you're on the Costas or in Cleethorpes. There you go, Tori Molinos. I didn't know it had that side to it. Thanks for that, boys. Uh, right, the website vote is closed. And we're going to soon find out whether Michelle is getting her food heaven or food hell. Tomorrow's Father's Day. <laughs> Tom's not here today, you might be able to know. Uh, so to mark the occasion, we've invited the father and son team from Gullies to showcase their incredible curry wraps. So please welcome Sudhir and Abby. <laughs> What a Father's Day treat this is. I, I'm absolutely all over this one. Uh, right, so paneer wraps. Yes, I'm going to start by making uh, the marinade for it. Okay. Uh, okay. Right. A bit so of paneer, obviously, cheese. Yep. Cheese, yes. Exactly. Vegetarian. Very high in protein yep. for your health. Okay. Um, oil, garlic, ginger. A bit of turmeric. And a yeah. bit of turmeric. Okay. Just put a bit of colour in. And this is, uh, this is all about street food. So you've got street food trucks, you've got a stall, and this got a really interesting story, how it started. Yeah, exactly. So we started Gully because actually my dad had retired, mm. and he was starting to lose his purpose in trying to find out what to do next in life. You thought. Well, I thought. <laughs> maybe so your I thought. old man was probably well, quite could, happy. Yeah, I could see it, maybe my mum could see it as well. And we're like, you know what? My dad's passion's always been food. Right. But he had a career in IT and nothing to do with food. Okay. So I used to work in Farringdon. There's an amazing market there, yeah. Leather Lane Market. Yeah. And I took him there one day and his eyes lit up. He saw all the different street foods. And right. You could tell this was a business for okay. him. So together we worked That's on it. That's lucky, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> Although we never actually made it to that market. You're right. Um, but yeah, we, we kept progressing from there. Now, yeah, we're at two. And that kind of just ignited everything for you. Exactly. I mean, were you, uh, but is that true, uh, Sudhir? Were you, were, you, were you just not happy playing golf and drinking whiskey? <laughs> the drinking whiskey was nice. Yeah. <laughs> but the golf was great. It wasn't getting any better. Did you look like a young man. How old were you? If you don't mind me asking, how old were you when you were uh, 58. So that's pretty young. Yeah. Just really? to sort of just hang to around. Just easy, yeah. Okay. Yeah, when you've done something for a long time. You like being busy, life. yeah? Yeah, I like being busy. Uh, when you've been doing the same thing in your life for a long time, you want to do something different. Right. But you, when you haven't found your calling, then you start wondering what to do. Yeah. And yeah. this is where my son and my family came in. I was just so blessed that they were there. Nice. What we had at that time. Anyway. Oh, that's great. It's it. I mean, we couldn't have a father and son. It didn't get on for Father's Day tomorrow. <laughs> uh, you guys have got the wrap in front of you. You yep. dive into okay. that. So what spices have we okay. got in here then? In the spices, I've, I've got some tandoori masala, cumin, mm -hmm. coriander, garam masala, mm -hmm. and uh, the turmeric. Okay. And the nigella seeds. Right. What's, what's tandoori masala? Tandoori masala consists of uh, uh, various mixes. It's got natural food coloring. It's got... Uh, mm. Garlic, ginger, a little bit of garlic and ginger. Okay. And uh, a few of the okay. freshers kind of thing. Right. Okay. I'm going to add uh, some ketchup. Yeah. And special some ingredients. Secret ketchup. ingredient. Don't a tell special. Anyone. Oh, no. Don't, don't okay. Anyone, right? Yeah, just don't put it on telly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. I, don't think, I don't think any chefs use them anyway. Loads of chefs use it. <laughs> Loads of chefs. <laughs> right. So, so, have you always done the cooking at home? Uh, yes, uh, my wife might be listening, so I can't say all. So no, <laughs> <laughs> that's what you're looking for. Yeah. <laughs> so, so this is so it was a love that, that got it was a love for it, ignited. Feeding people. Yeah. Th there's that kind of like uh, satisfaction you get when you cook food for people. Uh huh. Uh, I put a bit of honey. Okay. And uh, black pepper in there. Right out. And a bit of water. And just uh, you let this go, uh, you let the, let them toast off for about two three minutes so the spices aren't raw. Oh, can I just point out that's the hot yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew, I knew. Right. I, just, I just practicing before I put it on. <laughs> practicing the flipping on here. Yeah, yeah. You got the hang of it now? Yeah, yeah great. Put it on there. <laughs> <laughs> right. So what's it like uh, working together, father son? Is it, you know is it a dream? <laughs> it's a bit of a double edged sword working with family, right? Because yeah. On one side, you're really efficient because you can get to the heart of the problem straight away with no right. formalities. Yeah. But on the other hand, 
all our family dinners turn into business meetings and the rest of the family are getting quite annoyed at us. Right. Yeah. Is it just you two involved? It's just us two in the family, but you know with any family business, everyone wants to have their opinion and okay. get involved. But now we're a much bigger team. Right. So we've got teams going out to all the different festivals this year around, around the country. Give us, give us a few festivals. Well, we're going to Glastow, man. Yeah. I, I know you're going to be there. I am. I'm very excited. Yeah. Are you? Give you a discount on the wrap. Yeah, that'd be nice. Okay. Thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just, yeah, just a discount. Yeah. Yeah. Do, a, do a shift on the... On the yeah, it's a lovely <laughs> idea, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Thank you for volunteering me. <laughs> Glastonbury, remember? I think, exactly. <laughs> Sorry, where are we at? Right, yeah. where were we at? Was I've just put the paneer in. Yep. So I'm now going to start getting it ready for the wrap. Okay. So I'm going to grab... So you do you do more than this, don't you? This is, this is one of your best sellers, but... This, yeah. yeah, so we do... Our chicken tikka wrap is our actual best seller. Okay. Uh, followed by the paneer wrap, but then on top of that, we've got lamb kima, we've got a chickpea option for the vegans. Right. And then for our kind of starters and snacks, we have masala fries. Yeah. Uh, we have samosa charts. Uh -huh. uh, so they go down really well as well. Because street food is all about being being made in front of you, being really convenient to so you. So how many, right. on, on one of these trucks, how many people do you have working? Well, because presumably you cook it to order. Yeah, exactly. So it's almost like an Indian subway, you could call it, where your, your wrap is customised in front of you, end <laughs> right. to end. Um, and do you get to pick as you go along? Yeah, really? exactly. What filling and like what that. we're about to I do like now. That. So now he's going to... So I've, I've just put the paneer there and I've just added the slaw to it. Okay. And now this is the mint mayonnaise that we make. Oh, that's really good. And this is our special chilli sauce. Again, another secret. No one knows about it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah do you have milder it. ones than the ones you've given us? Is this the hot? <laughs> this is quite <laughs> hot. <laughs> do you have milder as well? Can you choose the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Choose the milder Is this a hot or is this... This is a medium, medium to hot. Oh, really? Yeah, we went picky earlier. We went quite picky. It's not asparagus. <laughs> it's not beach. Honestly, the list of hell is too hot. Too hot. Yes. I'm going to pay attention. Yeah, it's too hot. Please. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, sorry. First time on TV. Come on, tell her. <laughs> Come on, I'm what? Right, I'm unjubbifying this dish. Unjubbifying means making it stronger, even more so. Right, yeah. <laughs> right, so I'm putting onions on there. Okay. And adding some very medium sized. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Not too many in case. I mean, it's. it's it's perfect street. It's portable. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Delicious, portable. Exactly. And we have a team that makes these wraps in about 10 seconds each. Right. Yeah. So I'm the Whoa. slowest in the group. And <laughs> finally, I'm putting save on it, which gives it a different texture to taste. Okay. A bit of crunch. So you've got five guys in the in truck, the truck. And five guys behind the truck. Um, actually prepping the food Here's and making the operation. It. Uh, it's, it's like setting up a new restaurant every yeah. single day in a new location. And is it, have you, so they, have you found this, uh, all the way through, just invigorating. Oh, yeah. Is yeah. it the sort of thing you wish you'd started years ago? Years ago. I'd, uh, it's just brought me back to life again. Really? It really oh. has. You're smiling a lot. Oh, a lot. I love it. I yeah. love it. I That's nice. All yeah. day, That's literally. good. Oh. But you said earlier that you used to watch the show. Oh, oh love. it was my dream to be here. Yeah, of course it was. For. <laughs> yeah. No, no, it really was. I mean, I used to watch this for years, and I was thinking, one day. I really? Yeah. Oh. And, Even though you're in IT, totally. In IT, I just never had the confidence to go out and do this kind of stuff. But, yeah. You know, with the people around, it's just been amazing. I tell you, people out there are fantastic. They're a nice mob in yeah. uh, in catering. Yeah. Okay. And, oh, and when you, I guess when you you know you give the food over to, to customers and you see their face light up. Yeah. So like, oh. everyone wants to be there. It's such an interactive experience. Yeah. Street food's half about the food, half about the actual experience on the truck and yeah. Yeah. You know, talking to people, and that's what we're there for. Right. I'm yeah. going to give Oh, it. don't worry. I'm, I'm going to take it all apart. Right. Oh, OK. <laughs> um, right, what do you guys think? I'm going to try this now. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I'll put that there. Yeah, you like it? Yeah. Thank okay. you very much. Thank right, you. let me... Yeah. Sorry, you've just beautifully wrapped this. I'm going to... Mm. No, it's so tasty. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that is so tasty. Yeah. Mm. Really. Oh, delicious. I like the spice. Mm. Yeah, good Most spice. Good spice, spice. Oh, I'm sure Oh, look at me like that. Oh, I like like that. That's delicious. Perfect, perfect Father's Day treat. Love that. Thank you, boys. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, thanks for coming along. Uh, right, we're going to soon find out whether Michelle is facing her idea of food heaven or food hell. But first, let's head to Marcus's small holding where he's getting ideas for his abundance of lavender. Delicious. <laughs>